Hey guys, Mr. Asian Persuasion here, just back for um, another commentary. Normally I say the gameplay doesn't really matter in the background, but in this case uh, it somewhat does, it goes hand in hand with each other um, and the topic. This is why I like really trying to get this one right, because this one's kind of important to me. So I really wanted to touch bases and like talk about Modern Warfare 2, and it had a huge impact on the community. I mean... Um, coming from COD 4 to Modern Warfare 2 is a big change. I mean, well, not COD 4 to Modern. Well, COD 4 was more played than World at War, in my opinion. I mean, that's that. Like, I mean, that's what most people tell me because I wasn't there at the time exactly. But that's what most people tell me. So, either one, it was a big change. You had customizable kill streaks. Now you had more stuff. You had pro perks you could get, and um, you know, it just really was a huge change. But also, I wanted to talk about how Modern Warfare 2, it, it brought in quick scoping, I guess you could say. I guess it was somewhat in World at War and COD 4, but it wasn't the beast it was, in my opinion, till Modern Warfare 2. Because Modern Warfare 2, every lobby you got into, there was at least one person quick scoping. I mean, you go in today, like, um, this is recorded, like, when Black Ops 2 is, like, after the, its first DLC. You go in today in Modern Warfare 2, usually you only find quick scopers and maybe some noob troopers. Huh, <laughs> that's kind of funny, but, um, oh, excuse me. Anyways, so, I, I just wanted to ask, like, do you think any game to come will ever innovate like Modern Warfare 2 did? I mean, I mean, we've reached a level where innovation is, uh, it's possible, but it's not coming that much. I mean, you get new game modes, new game types and stuff, like, but that's not, I mean, that's innovative, don't get me wrong, that's really innovative, because you have new game types that's going to be in Modern Warfare 4, and that's, that's cool and shit, but it's not, like, I mean, it's nothing like brand spanking new, I mean, Quick scoping that was brand spanking new. The kill streak system at the time, that was brand spanking new. So, like, I mean, specialist. Specialist? I, oh, you hear that? It's like, I don't know, neighbors. Sorry. Anyways, specialist was brand spanking new, too. And, like, in Model for 3. And specialist, in my opinion, that really, that, that, that was good. Because it was, like, a breath of fresh air. Like, wow, instead of getting kill streaks, you get perks. And you could go for perks and then be like the ultimate super soldier I guess you could say somewhat um anyways so I was just wondering like do you guys think there's any more room for innovation in mono like from Modern Warfare 2 because Modern Warfare 2 was a big innovation in itself um it definitely like it, it really hit the nail on the head man it it had a few downfalls and I fail so hard right there but it had downfalls being one man army and noob tubes I mean if noob tubes just weren't in the game or they they took something out or something patched it so you couldn't use it that would be awesome <laughs> that would be amazing like I think Modern Warfare 2 had the potential to be probably the best Call of Duty yet then um at the time I mean I'm gonna be honest with you Modern Warfare 2 is like a huge part in my life um well, I mean, you can see that it's still very widely played today. I mean, it has a good community because uh, they're willing to bring it, like, they're willing to bring maps from, like, other games into Modern Warfare 2. Uh, uh, I'm going to be doing, ugh, why did I just say, ugh? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be doing, like, uh, I might start a series called A Modder's Paradise. Anyways, um, basically, it's going to show mods, and they brought Modern Warfare 2 guns and everything into Call of Duty 4 because... It impacted people so much that they're like, we want this in Call of Duty 4, and that's like mods for PC only, so, sorry, console lol. <laughs> Anyways, um, basically, uh, Modern Warfare 2 had a huge impact on me, like I was saying before I was being ignorant. Anyways, it, like, so, one summer before I was going to freshman, like, yeah, before I was going to freshman, because in high school, so it was like maybe a year or two ago, or something, like two years, somewhere around there, um, when, right when it was... Black Ops 2, because that Christmas I got an Xbox 250 gigabytes with Black Ops 2. Or not Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. Uh, that, that was that was what I got. And that was when Black Ops 1 released, like, but I got it around Christmas time and everything. So, wow, my aim is so pro. Anyways, um, I got it around then, and I was really happy with the game, but I got bored. My friend's like, dude, get Modern Warfare 2. And I seen it before in, like, uh, some guy's videos I used to watch, Guns for Hire or something. And so... I was like, okay, dude, I wanna, I wanna pick this up. This game looks sick, and uh, like at the time, I was ignorant, uh, ignorant <laughs> towards Call of Duty because 
I I knew there was other Call of Duty games, but I was ignorant to the fact that they were still widely played. I thought once the new one comes out, everyone, like nobody stays. But no, there was a lot of people going back. And I got the game. I got a bunch of games, actually. Uh, like with COD 4, World of War, I got all of them. Um, and I got a connect. Oh my god, Dance Central, that brings back memories. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I got, I got it. Um, and I started playing with my friend. And that game started to consume my life. I mean, Modern Warfare 2, during that summer of freshman, like that before I went to freshman, that summer, oh my gosh. The only thing I really, I love, like, I didn't gain weight either, because that sounds really bad what I'm about to say, but, um, I freaking played Modern Warfare 2 every day for like two weeks straight, like, all day. And I also, like, all I did that summer was. Eat some chicken wing. Like I went to a chicken wing place a few times, and then I also played Modern Warfare 2 a shitload, and went to Six Flags. That's pretty much all I done. All I did that that summer. Like, can you believe that? That's crazy, man. Like only, only Modern Warfare 2, chicken wings, and. Six Flags, that sounds like a freaking American dream. Anyways, guys, commentary is coming to an end. Basically, I just wanted to get this out there, see what you guys think. Is innovation still possible to the degree Modern Warfare 2 brought us um, in Call of Duty? Like, uh, it brought us the kill streaks, uh, the unfortunate noob tubes. But anyways, it brought us the customizable kill streaks, quick scoping, and all of that. So, um, leave a comment below, tell me your opinion, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways, guys, Mr. Asia Persuasion here, peace.